This is the Anything is Potable podcast, the podcast that talks about what others won't, but with no judgment, of course. I'm your host, Tiffany. And I am Janae. And we started this podcast to voice the opinions and concerns of college students while having fun. We'll share our perspectives of what's really going on at our beloved HBCU, NCCU, and community while creating a network for students. Now get your snacks together and tune in because anything is potable. Welcome to the first episode of Anything is Potable. I'm your host, Tiffany. And I'm Janae. So how about... I'm on my way to campus for my first period, and it was like an unusual amount of cars coming past Marytowns. Maybe because students were trying to get to the food trucks before it became crowded. I don't know. Maybe because of the rain. But speaking of cars, am I the only one struggling to find parking during the day? Girl, I struggle every day parking here. Like, I, it's a fight. Like it's literally, ridiculous. it's a fight. Literally, even if I'm um, if I find a park and I'm getting out the car, mm-hmm. somebody will pull up on me and just be like, "Hey, like you leaving the park yet?" And I'm like, "No, no. like I just, <laughs> I just fought no. for my spot." No, it's like you gotta get to campus super early to find decent parking. Exactly, and don't let you have to go somewhere across campus. I'm not even gonna get back in my car. I'm just gonna walk. See, I'll if be you getting get in back. your car. You're gonna lose your parking spot. It depends how far, because that walking all the way over and walking back, I... Mm. I don't just walk. I can't do it. Mm-mm. See, walking for me be... <sighs> See, and that's the struggle. Far. So maybe I don't travel far. I only go from here to the science building. That's only two places. Okay, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. See, me, I be having to go from, like... My class schedule be crazy. Like, my next class after audio production, Mm -hmm. for example, this is Ferris Newton. I got to go all the way to criminal justice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. My classes be spread out like that, especially, like, even in my freshman year, I had to go from education building all the way to Ferris Newton, back to education. It's like, why do I have to... Yeah, like, why do I... I was small then, too. I was small. I was was walking. (laughs) Ain't no parks, nothing. Like, why? Uh, Struggle. It is a struggle. It don't make no sense. So now I want to ask, what is your craziest experience with parking? Like, what's the craziest thing you've been through? Craziest? I don't think I have a crazy parking experience. For real? Yeah, I don't think. Mm-mm. I, or maybe I just go through too much then. Yeah, maybe no. Because I... I park in the same. I'm going to get my tea. <laughs> See, okay, okay. You don't don't give your tea. Don't give your tea. See, one time, okay. So, I love Durham. I'm from Durham, but you know the people here are a little, huh? Mm-hmm. Maybe a little more on the, eh, no, I want to say ethnic side, but, but, you know they sell their products mm-hmm. in the near the houses. You know. Okay. And one dude, like, I parked all the way, like, down the street, like, real far from Ferris and Newton. You walked? Yeah, I had a walk because there was no parts. Like, everybody was parked up. So I'm getting into my car. I see, you know, people dapping each other up, doing their transactions, you mm-hmm. know, friends, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it. And he's just like, hey, hey, like, trying to flag me down. I'm just like, nope. sir, leave <laughs> me alone. <laughs> Out of everybody, leave me alone. Then you see all the friends coming out the house, and then it's just like, no, like, leave me alone. Then he's trying to, like, come up to the car, direct me how to get out the park. Like, I know how to do it. Like, now he trying to be. Yes. Like, <laughs> it, like, hands and everything. Go not, this way. Turn not, your wheel. Turn your wheel. Like, <laughs> sir. Like, I don't want no parts. Like, I am good. Like, that's just one. Then the dogs be, like, trying to chase. <sighs> Oh no, I cannot get chased by no dogs. It be dogs like no everywhere. It be stray dogs out here too. Like Ooh, we no. have it the worst. I feel like commuters be having it the worst. We too close to neighborhoods. That's why. Yeah, it's like you never know what somebody feeling like doing never to know. you. Like one dude, like even one of the dudes was at my car before. Like at my car, like he leaning on it, like it's his car, and I'm just like, why are you on no, my driver's my side? Beep, no, like beep. I wasn't. I was going to the car. Oh. Why are you leaning on my car? Why? Oh no! This about to be, be a weird. safety violation. This is <laughs> this, <laughs> about <to> be, <laughs> this about to turn into a safety podcast. Lock your doors. I'm glad I ain't have nothing in there. You gonna have always some candies, some candies, maybe some snacks. Ain't gonna find nothing important in there. <laughs> ain't gonna find no money in my. Gonna find some loose chains. That's about Heart it. That, that feelings hurt. <laughs> feelings hurt. Oh wait.
You're listening to Anything is Potable podcast. Coming up, we have a brief message. Our black and Latin children, ages 0 to 19, are 14 times more likely to die from homicide than their white counterparts. That's 52 Americans daily. Let's save our urban communities one step at a time. For more information, call 800-985-5990. You're listening to Anything is Potable. We're on the topic of student parking. So I've never paid for a parking pass because $375 to park on campus is just crazy to me. Yeah, it's just crazy to me. And I'm from Durham, too, so that's probably why. See, me, I haven't paid for a parking pass not one time the whole four years I done been here. Because, why? Yeah, I just, it's just... Why? <laughs> it's like basically $400, and I know some people can't even get their spot. Yeah, it's not even definite that you're going to have a parking spot. Just it's why? not. I understand, like, you got to pay, you know, to have these luxuries, but it's just like... 375 Yeah, and then even if you don't uh have your parking spot, you still got to pay, like... The for the mobile app, mm-hmm. it's like twenty eight dollars, thirty dollars. Oh, they got mobile app. Yeah, they have a mobile app, and I don't pay not one thing. Maybe I shouldn't be snitching on myself, but I don't pay for it because three hundred seventy five dollars to not even have a guaranteed parking spot. I don't know. It's just not my thing. It's I wonder where they be finding these prices at. Like, how you come up with three seventy five for a little thing to put on your mirror? Exactly. <laughs> exactly, and then it's like. You know how we go on the student forms or, like, we look down at the breakdown of what we're getting Uh charged for? We be getting charged for, like, miscellaneous. And parking not up there. We get charged for, like, miscellaneous, the gym, all of that. Stuff we don't utilize. Stuff, like, stuff we don't utilize. We could talk about that, too. Like. We might do that for the next episode. (laughs) But Yeah, tune tune in. (laughs) But, yeah, it's like we don't even utilize all this stuff. Instead of putting what you could utilize towards the parking, towards parking. and three hundred seventy five, like we trying to get a job to go around this month. We're trying to get a job, like you know, three hundred seventy five dollars, twenty eight dollars, thirty dollars every day. The parents ain't helping out no more. Yeah, they don't care no more. So school, y'all need to tighten up. Just yeah. a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just a little help. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> a little help. That. A little help. A help little us out. You know, we ain't asking for too much. We're doing our best here. We try you to know, show up. Get the education. Y'all just give us parking, you know? Right. It's compromise here. Give me a little parking spot. This is crazy. Yeah. Mm. This is outrageous. That's just how we feel. Now we can see how other people feel. I went out right. on campus and I asked a student from Central. Okay. You know how he felt about parking and this is what he had to say. No, um, well, my name is Joshua Bennett and I do attend... Um, NCCU, and I've been a student here. This is my first year grad school. Did you commute to school all throughout your years, or did you stay on campus? Like, um, I commuted to school. I didn't stay on campus in undergrad or now, so I commuted every year. Parking was rough, depending on what time you would get there. Maybe in the mornings you might be able to find something. So yeah, walking was a little. I walked a little distance to my classes because so I used to um park like behind the bookstore, that street that go all the way down to those houses mm-hmm. and. Like it was, there were a couple times where I parked. The people that lived there, they had their dogs like in the front yard with no leashes on. But you know, I had to sneak my way to the car and whatever like that. But. So you see, we're not the only ones, right? And it's probably a lot of people who got similar stories. A whole bunch of people. So I went and I spoke with Philip Marine. He's the director of parking and transportation unit. Okay. Just about what's going on with all the the lack of parking for students around campus. And he gave me a solution that they're working on. We are looking at opportunities to convert other areas on campus that are in the process of being torn down. One of the discussions I'm having shortly is the Baines dormitory in the process of being torn down. And so later this spring, summer, they're going to start a process of dismantling that. So one of the things I'm lobbying right now is that could they convert that footprint of the dorm into uh, at least a gravel parking lot. And that would be in the center of campus. And ultimately, I mean, we can get some spaces right there in the center of campus, yeah. whether it's for faculty or students, that would be a huge win. So, yeah, I think that idea would be very convenient due to the fact that it is in the middle of campus, as yeah. he said. 
and we gonna have park it. So that's a solution, Period. and that is a oh. wrap. That is all. I'm Janae. And I'm Tiffany. And we hope you enjoy episode one. Make sure you're here every first Thursday of every month when our episodes air. And always remember, anything, anything is potable. potable.